Markets are strong, despite grim economic damage in other industries. KZI reporter, news reporter Andrew Hobner spoke with local markets about what this means for small business. We set it up to where we could limit the amount of people. Um, and then from there, we continue to uh, dwindle that down as uh, things started to progress. And so that happened all within the span of maybe five days. There's a steady flow of customers at Long's Meat Market in Eugene, even in the middle of arguably the toughest economic span it's seen in its 93-year history. But Long's, who sources all of their meat locally and regionally, says it's the perfect time to help local small businesses over big chains. Customers are their bread and butter. Mm -hmm. um, their livelihood depends on their customers, and so um, they want to ensure that they're uh, taking the best uh, care as possible. But why local meat markets instead of big grocery store chains? The answer is in the suppliers. Local and regional producers instead of big national chains like Smithfield are giving consumers a lot more confidence in not only the safety of the product but also helping out their native Oregonians. Some of those bigger bigger chains um, they don't necessarily necessarily care about the product itself. Um, they don't necessarily care about the, the customers. They're just worried about the bottom line. Uh, sometimes, and um, and that's um, that's kind of what makes small businesses, just as a general uh, rule, a lot better. While there are still questions about prolonged effects on the local and regional supply chains down the line, places like Long's have made the message clear: keeping it local is the best way to support your area right now. Reporting in Eugene, Andrew Hobner, KZI 9 News.